asked me if I was in the meth business or the money business. Neither. I'm in the empire business. You understood what I've just said to you? Yes. Lung cancer. Inoperable. Best case scenario with chemo, I'll live maybe another couple of years. You, uh, you want to cook crystal meth? The DEA took all your money, your lab. You got nothing. Square one. But you know the business. And I know the chemistry. I'm thinking maybe you and I could partner up. That we all in this room, we love each other. We want what's best for each other, and I know that. I am very thankful for that. But uh, what I want, what I want, what I need, is a choice. Sometimes I feel like I never actually make any of my own choices. I mean, my entire life, it just seems I never, you know, had a, had a real say about any of it. With this last one, cancer. All I have left is how I choose to approach this. These doctors talking about surviving. One year, two years, like it's the only thing that matters. But what good is it to just survive if I am too sick to work? To enjoy a meal? To make love? For what time I have left, I want to live in my own house. I want to sleep in my own bed. I don't want to choke down 30 or 40 pills every single day and lose my hair and lie around too tired to get up. Chemistry is the study of math, but I prefer to see it as the study of change. Doctor, my wife is seven months pregnant with a baby we didn't intend. My 15-year-old son has cerebral palsy. I am an extremely overqualified high school chemistry teacher. When I can work, I make $43,700 per year. I have watched all of my colleagues and friends surpass me in every way imaginable, and within 18 months, I will be dead. And you ask why I ran? you stupid son of a bitch. We had Frank. We had a lab. We had everything we needed. It all ran like clockwork. You could have yeah. shut your mouth, cooked, and made as much money as you ever needed. It was perfect. But no, you just had to blow it up. You and your pride and your ego. You just had to be the man. If you'd done your job, known your place, we'd all be fine right now. Yes genius of yours. Maybe he's still out there. I am not turning down the money. I am turning down you. You get it? I want nothing to do with you. Ever since I met you, everything I have ever cared about is gone, ruined, 
turned to shit. Dead ever since I hooked up with the great Heisenberg. I have never been more alone. I am nothing. No one. All right, it's all gone. Get it. No. No, no, why? Why would you get it? What do you even care as long as you get what you want? Who are you talking to right now? Who is it you think you see? Do you know how much I make a year? I mean, even if I told you, you wouldn't believe it. Do you know what would happen if I suddenly decided to stop going into work? A business big enough that it could be listed on the NASDAQ goes belly up. Disappears. It ceases to exist without me. No, you clearly don't know who you're talking to, so let me clue you in. I am not in danger, Skyler. I am the danger. A guy opens his door and gets shot, and you think that of me? No. I am the one who knocks. I'm the cook. I'm the man who killed Gus Fring. My star, my perfect son. W.W. Say my name. Eisenberg. You're goddamn right. If you don't know who I am, then maybe your best course would be to tread lightly. You're the smartest guy I ever met. And you're too stupid to see. He made up his mind 10 minutes ago. Do what you're gonna do. You killed. What? No, no. You killed No, him. no, no! I tried to save him! What the hell is wrong with you? We're a family! You want this? Say the words! Say you want this! Nothing happens until I hear you say it. I want this. I have to hear one more time that you did this for the family. I did it for me. I liked it. good at it. And I was really I was alive.